China has threatened that it will retaliate, but hasn't confirmed what that action would be. Now, despite China's warnings, Pelosi pledged the U.S.'s solidarity with the self-ruled island. Defying threats from China. Even warnings from the U.S. military over her safety. Speaker Nancy Pelosi touched down in Taiwan today amid growing tensions between Washington and Beijing. The controversial visit, part of an Asian tour during the August House recess. Pelosi, the highest ranking elected U.S. official to visit Taiwan in quarter century, called the trip a support of democracy and not a change in U.S. policy regarding the self governed island. But China has viewed Taiwan as a renegade province, threatening for years that it would retake the island by force, ending its self ruling democracy. This is largely uh, a symbolic statement. Uh, on her part in support of Taiwan and its democratic society. John Dotson, deputy director of the Global Taiwan Organization in the nation's capital, broke down this high stakes trip and whether it could worsen already tense U.S.-China relations, possibly pushing China to align even closer with Russia. I do expect we'll see some symbolic actions taken by Beijing. Those could take the form of naval exercises in the vicinity of Taiwan. It could take the form of more uh, intrusive uh, flights by PRC military aircraft uh, closer into to Taiwan airspace. Taiwan is roughly 100 miles from the coast of southeast China, positioned in the so-called first island chain, as shown in these links, which includes several U.S.-friendly territories vital to U.S. foreign policy. China contends Taiwan was initially a Chinese province. Taiwan claims they've never been a part of the modern Chinese state. The U.S., in its long-standing support of Taiwan, has supplied them with heavy military equipment to defend itself from an attack. Hinting at possibly even more fallout following Pelosi's visit, Russian officials called the trip, quote, provocative. China's ambassador to the U.S., speaking out today, said China has every right to defend its territory and sovereignty. China's president has also warned, quote, reunification with Taiwan must be fulfilled at all costs, even hinting at the possibility of military force to achieve their goal. Key members of Congress rallied behind the speaker, including Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, who reaffirmed Pelosi would give China, quote, a victory of sorts if she failed to follow through with the trip. 25 other Republican senators also expressed their support. We should close ranks now and not let the Chinese Communist Party try to drive wedges between American elected officials or the White House on whether or not she should be there. The Chinese Defense Ministry said that its military had been put on high alert and will begin targeted military operations in response to Pelosi's visit. That's the latest in the newsroom. I'm Karine Winter. We'll send it back to you now in the studio.